So let's try to fix these heading numbers. I'll first come to my heading one. I'm clicking on this chapter title and I'm shown here that this has been styled as heading one. So one of the first things I want to do is to modify and make sure that there is no space before or after. So I'm just going to set before and the first line indentation to zero and zero. And just simply go ahead and then apply. Uh, so the numbering has gone to the extreme left hand margin because no indentation has been applied as of now. Now we will deal with this second problem and that problem is with reference to the space in between. So to, to do this we will have to come to list and we had applied this multi-level list so we will just click on more options and these are the, the style headings at different levels. So currently we are dealing with heading number one so what we're going to do is we'll come to position and we will make sure that the numbering is followed by currently it says tab stop but there are two other options one is space and one is nothing so instead of doing a tab stop which is like a few centimeters away after the number we will just simply go ahead and say space so what this does is that uh, it will eventually when we press ok uh, let us do that. It brings or narrows this gap. Now there is an interesting thing happening here. Uh, this is the number that is coming from the chapter numbering but I had already written chapter number one. So I need to fix this. I'm going to delete this because this is what I wrote. Numbering is coming automatically from here. So I'm going to head back to my list and go to more options and I will just say that after the number and before the number I can actually write something. So this number one is coming from here and I'm saying before this number write chapter then a space and after the number that is after number one you can also follow it up with something. So I'm going to put a space and a colon and a space. You can pretty much type anything here but I'm going to go ahead with this such that the number is preceded by the word chapter and after the number we can have a colon and we have introduced a space such that there is a neat difference between the two words they don't come and join together and the second change as you would have already seen I have done is going to position and making sure that the numbering is followed by a space. So this is how the heading is then fixed. It is now saying chapter 1 colon followed by a space and followed by the title of the chapter. So we have fixed and aligned it perfectly with the left margin. We will do the same with this one and we will click here. Now we see that this is heading 2. So I'm going to come here and say modify and I'm going to remove the before text indentation space to 0 and the first line also to zero and I will just press apply. So this is pushed to the corner or the edge of the margin and to deal with this space I'm going to come back again to my list more options. This time because I have clicked on this particular line which has been styled in heading 2 I'm seeing what is set for heading 2. So I'm going to come here go to position and instead of number being followed by tab stop, I'm going to come here and say space. I don't want to do anything else with this. I don't want anything before or after it. This was a special case where I wanted the number to be preceded by the word chapter and then succeeded by a colon. Here I am quite happy. I don't want anything behind or ahead of this number. So I'm just going to go to position and just simply say number will be followed instead of tab stop by a space. So when you press OK, this is also fixed. And not only this one is fixed because we have fixed the heading. Everything else that is in heading to style is also fixed automatically. So, so as you scroll down, you will see that everything that we had styled in heading 2 has actually been fixed and that heading is now properly aligned. So you can actually do anything that you want. 
Um, if for example you wanted a little indentation you can always come here and modify and then before text you can put in a little bit of space and after the first line you can put in a little bit of space you can go negative also so all kinds of things are possible let us now fix heading 3 as we click here we see that this is heading 3 we are going to do exactly the same thing right click modify we are going to come here and in indents and spacing make this as zero make this as zero such that we push this right to the edge and as we apply we have the same result the number has ended up here there is a space between this and this so this is the tab stop one tab stop is measuring something so that many centimeters has been placed between the number and the and the letter so this is what the tab stop is doing so to fix this i'm coming back to my list i'm going to more options and then because i was dealing with heading 3 it is already located at heading 3 i don't want anything before or after i'm just going to go to position i'm going to come here and say space like i did before and press ok so this is fixed and with it all headings that have been styled as heading 3 have also been fixed so we need to now fix just one more heading so let us fix this also so i'll just click here i will see that this is styled as heading 4 right click modify set the indents and spacing to 0 and this is also 0 and just simply go ahead and press apply so uh, the numbers have been pushed to the left edge or the left margin and we need to just fix up this space for which we are going to go back to list and then go to more options because this is heading 4 we have already done for the three headings we will come to position and then we will just simply uh, replace tab stop with space as we have done before and so numbering for these have also been fixed all the titles have been properly numbered and they have been properly styled now let's go ahead and see how to insert figures and caption them and also see how to insert tables and see some other common word processing tasks that are needed to complete a document such that it can actually be presentable in the form of a report.